Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Mother truckers, I missed the shit out of you. How are you doing? How are you doing? You beautiful, absolutely amazing bunch of people. Welcome back to another stream. Welcome back to Thursday. Best day in the world. The one day in the fucking world that I never knew how to name. Well, that, I didn't have any problem naming it today. <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic time. Happy New Year and obviously Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays to all of you who missed it. Um, I am so happy to be back and so excited to be here. Can I offer the <clears throat> first Fip Dive Pithy Diff Fee of 2022? Ah. <laughs> yes, you can, my dude. Yes, you can. Thank you for 20 months. Uh, Warbird, thank you for 8. And Gravitas, thank you for 7. Bodha, thank you for 46. You guys are awesome. Did I tell you that? I didn't and tell you that. there we go, Agani. Another month. Agani. Another joy. Happy 2022 to all chat. Uh, happy 2022 uh indeed I, I was thinking like the other day like jesus christ when i was a kid we thought that by 2012 we'll be having well by, by 2020 we would have like flying cars right literally flying fucking cars would be colonizing mars and and and, and shit like that and uh 2022 is here and you know you know what you're looking at instead of the face of the mars You're looking at me. <laughs> oh man, I'm so happy to be back. I am so freaking happy to be back. I missed streaming. I missed you guys. And uh, I'm, I missed gaming. But funnily enough, I missed gaming the least. That's amazing. I've actually missed you, the stream, the chat. The mod team, the wonderful fucking mod team. <clears throat> Clip that now. And God knows, maybe for 2023 we come with that again. <laughs> um, Man, I, I don't know. I just miss this. I love my job. It's the best job ever. Absolutely the best job ever. Uh, but we got... Oh, dude, we got some catching up to do. Holy shit. Um, this is definitely not Sasha great. Oh, come on. Like a little bit of this and a little bit of... And... No, I'm kidding. Sh Sasha great is great. Speaking Sasha great. Sasha Gray is great. From what I've seen on, on Twitch, she's absolutely great. I meant no disrespect. Um, amazing girl to, to hang out with. Um, John, thank you for 20 months. Kerensky, thank you for five gifted subs. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, wow, like, where do we start? Uh, we got some catching up to do. Where do we start? What was it? Um, 28th. Twitch drops. Tarkov. We streamed for 14 hours or so. Had about 650 viewers peak-ish, which is pretty damn good. Um, our community, my channel... <laughs> And everything has been growing steadily with Tarkov. And I am more than happy with that. Honestly, it's been great. <clears throat> um, slowly leaving World of Warships and, and, and achieving what I said about a year or two ago that I wanted to do. I want World of Warships to be the game that I can jump in when I feel like I want to jump in. Play as much as I feel like playing and then jump out and not feel remorse. Dude, we are, we're basically there. We're basically there. It feels so good to not depend on this game. And to be fairly honest, not playing this game for a while actually Happy makes 2022 you... for all. Thank you, dude. Happy 2022 uh, to you too, John. Appreciate it. Um, like, you, you eventually have no problem coming back to it. Now, yeah, I'm sure I'm going to be reminded of 70,000 reasons why I hate this game. But yeah, coming back to it. And, and dropping some games when you when you want to do it when you feel like you want to do it is so much better than having to do it when well all the time because you have to um so i'm, I'm really happy with that 
um and then um yeah like tarkov has been growing we we have a bunch of people that we play with we have a bunch of other games i have like 20 something games um that i stream it's amazing um and then 29th 29th in the morning we um uh, we left for well other part of the country pretty much um we made a pit stop um a couple of things were supposed to happen i was supposed to have my eyes checked uh, we were supposed to get both cats uh checked up um and then we were supposed to go out outside of the city and, and stay at our friend's place for a couple of days uh get a new year's there and then after that go to my uh my sorry mrs Citadel's parents for a couple of days uh spend a few days with them and then uh, make a return um we did portion of that <clears throat> based on the date and the time and the rush and everything i didn't get my eyes checked unfortunately um but i guess you know we, we can do that at some point i guess I, I smell in the next couple of months um we might be headed that way ish we'll see i don't know uh we did get the cats checked uh, i was on like two hours of sleep uh, because after 28th finished with the stream had to pack and everything um yeah i know mary obviously no I, I wanted to do it but it's just it really wasn't like part of being extremely exhausted tired lack of sleep bad timing um inconvenient lazy and everything was just like it just kind of slipped away um but i'll i'll get to that <clears throat> Stare into the camera and we'll check the eyes for you. Yes. Um, so we arrived. Like 28th, we went to sleep pretty late after we were done packing and everything. And we had to get up pretty early. Um, and then head all the way um, to a well different part of the country, which was like a four or five hour drive. Uh, and then we arrived at this friend's place, which actually live a little bit further away so we had to make a return i was on two hours of sleep we had something to eat i popped the beer and i was about to crash i i in like 30 40 hours i was on two hours of sleep and just prior to that i was streaming 15 hours every day for about 15 days um i enjoyed well every bit of it I really like streaming. I really like this. Um, Tarkov has been absolutely amazing. Um, I was trying to get as much advantage as possible, which is now pretty much gone. Uh, so we got a lot of catching up to do if you want to keep up. But I'm, but I'm afraid that at this point, people are rocking pretty good gear um, already as well. Uh, but that's okay because we got good gear as well. We're not behind we just don't have huge advantage anymore um so mrs and uh mrs and and her friend decided that they're gonna take the cats to the vet and have them checked up um so i was like all right i'm just gonna hit the bed i need i need a couple of hours of sleep now like i said i enjoyed every bit of this like 15 hour streams every day for two weeks but holy shit was i tired I'm serious. The next... We, we stayed 29th... Like, late afternoon, evening. 30th, 31st, 1st. Right? So, three and a half days. We stayed... Three and a half to four days. We stayed at our parents' place. Uh, um, friend's place. For three days, I was shifting between couch, Netflix... Um and just talking and, and stuff to bed audible and sleep three days i was a i was a cactus i was just doing nothing but but literally just chilling i was so tired man i i didn't have energy will 
or or uh, interest in doing anything, pretty much. Um, and whenever there would be a topic like, are we going to go somewhere or are we going to stay here? I would always be like, I vote for staying. If we're going, that's fine. We can go. But personally, I vote for staying, right? If we, if you guys want to go, if the majority decides we go, I'm going. It's not a problem, but my vote is, you know, we stay. And for, few, for the first few days, dude, we literally didn't really do shit. It was the most chill New Year's you could ever imagine. It was, it was borderline boring. I was literally in a... My body was just in a full rest mode, recharging the batteries. Um, and it was, it was like, it was really needed. So I didn't mind. And then I think the last 24, 30 hours that we spent there my energy started coming back and then we went um the uh, our friends who actually just bought the house a huge portion of the land which is extremely unusual for people here to have so much fucking land but they're outside of the city um and it was it was very cheap uh, i was shocked actually at how much land they got and um and i'm talking to the guy and he's like i would buy that and that if i could I'm like, okay, what do you intend to do here? He's like, nothing. That's the whole point. I want to have as much land surrounding me as possible. So no mother trucker can build anything around me. <laughs> I'm like, ah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, unfortunately, the, the papers and stuff isn't exactly sorted out on the left and the right uh, of him. So he's kind of in the middle. Uh, but he's like, you know, if, if, they, if they don't have it sorted, so I can't buy it. No one else can build there anyway, so I'm fine. <clears throat> um, so yeah, then then the last day we were kind of having fun. Um, more people showed up. There was two extra cats and a dog. There was like seven of us. Uh, it was pretty crazy. The house was full. It's a pretty big house. And we were playing... Uh, we call it Alias here. Um, uh... I don't know, would you, would you call it like Elias in English? It's essentially the word for like a cover-up name. I, I don't know, uh, uh, your undercover agent would have an Elias, right? Like his name is maybe Jack Jackson and uh, his Elias would be uh, Johnny. Whatever. Um, so... It's a game where you have to... Where you get a word. A-L-E-S. Alias? Alias. Yeah, alias. Um, you get a word in front of you. And you, you have a partner. Um, you have a word. And you have to explain to your partner what the word is. So he pronounces it in that exact way that it's written without you telling him the word or any core of the word. So for example, if you have teeth, you have to tell him, uh, you know, that thing that's in your head that you use to chew stuff. And then he's like, tooth, yeah, plural, teeth, good. And then you move on, you move on to the next one. So. But you can't use the, the, the hand gestures. You can't, you can't tell them exactly what it is. You can't use foreign language to say the word in a, well, foreign language. And, um, yeah, there's a couple of more things you can't do, but essentially that's the game. Hold on. So we were kind of changing partners. Now I'm not particularly good in this game. Um, not because I, I struggle to explain stuff. I mostly struggle, struggle to guess stuff. I always say that I suck at that game. Uh, because it's about time. As many words as you can go under... Well, whatever the time frame you put. But we usually sp set like 60 seconds. Uh, every time you correct, you click next. Every time you can't correct and you want to... You just want to ditch it. You, you click skip and you get a new word. Every time you click skip... Not only that you didn't get a point for the word, you also lost a point. So you now have to guess two words to move to move on. So it really doesn't pay off to skip words because you're instantly losing points.
but you don't want to spend too much time trying to guess a word that you're obviously incapable of guessing when the timer runs out that's it and you play like i don't know who gets 20 30 50 points more so we were shifting uh first couple of rounds the day before when we played me and mrs were playing against the two of them we sucked balls then we played we were losing like 3-0 they reached 20 points before us like three times in a row and then we beat them five times in a row it's like we just like we heated up our engines we we clicked and then me and mrs started absolutely kicking ass which was awesome now obviously this comes down a little bit to luck as well next day when we were playing this with more people we were starting to shuffle teams up and we don't know we don't all exactly know each other so i have one for you chat okay <laughs> Please participate if you, if you'd like. We're just gonna play this one time. This is sort of how it went, right? It's long, sharp, narrow, made of metal. I think usually aluminium. It's sticking on a car and you use it to listen to radio. What is this chat? Antenna? Well, if you are my friend, you will say car battery. <laughs> I'm like, dude, <laughs> dude, you know when you're playing this game, like when you're playing this game, and you're trying to make someone guess something right you don't want to waste any time you're just spitting shit out to make their brain start working and if they're missing you're trying to guide them she said she said car battery and i just stopped i was just staring at her in disbelief and i'm like at this point you don't give a shit about the points and stuff and she's looking at me and she's laughing but she's confused and then i gave her a couple of extra hints right i give her a couple of extra hints i can't remember exactly what it was and then she said car exhaust at that point i was done i was literally just standing there staring at her and i was like that's it Fuck it, I don't care about the points. I don't care what happens for the rest of this match. I, I'm done. Car battery and a car exhaust. Long, narrow, made of metal. Right, sure. Car exhaust can sort of, sort of come under those conditions. But then she says, uh, I tell her like, it's usually in a car still fine it's usually standing on the car okay technically that could work you use it to listen to radio fucking car battery yo <laughs> and then car exhaust i'm like engine exhaust whatever i'm like oh my god so that was that was really <laughs> so that was funny as fuck doors and 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 she's actually pretty good at this game that's the funny part like she's really good at this game and really really fast um and when when her and her uh well boyfriend i guess uh, uh are, are playing this they're really fucking fast and they beat the shit out of us a couple of times in a row purely because they were like you listen to listen to radio antenna uh, it's at the back of the car with a, with a fuse, exhaust. I, I don't know, they were like super fucking fast. We couldn't keep that up. And then we switch, switch out the teams and then this happened. We were having the worst game ever. 60 seconds, two points, three points, two points, two points, two points, two points, three points, two points. It was insane. It just, it just wasn't working. Dronzer, thank you so much for three months. Welcome to Silver. But that was pretty much... That was pretty much the funniest fucking part. And then obviously we swapped teams a little bit more and we all had some good laughs and shit like that. But that's that's kind of 
how uh how our new year went uh, just kind of playing elias uh and 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 we weren't even drinking that much to be honest like not a single one of us actually got drunk uh they were drinking white wine with sparkly water and i was drinking beer welcome back flambino we took a couple of shots that's about it like hello welcome back happy new year chat oh my god is that mom mom turn on the camera <laughs> somebody subbed thank you for 31 months millish appreciate it uh can we get some hugs for flamba mom which is potentially flamba dad as well in in chat uh yes please well you can't use this one well, give me give me give me a glass you can't use this one <clears throat> and yo yo welcome back flamba hug wish you a good 2022 thank you guitar thank you guitar guru appreciate it thank you for 18 months i wish you 2020 happy 2022 as well man that's a lot of do 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 keep thank you for 19 appreciate it so that's kind of how we we um we did our bass seriously i watch all of your twitch videos keep up the hard work sir and thank you for the entertainment you're welcome my dude thank you so much for your support i love what i do and i do what i love what can i say it, it's just hopefully a never-ending story um <clears throat> Mm. Mm. Damn, I was thirsty. So, again, that's kind of how our New Year's went. Um, and then the day after, we just kind of had some food and chilled, and we played a board game. Um, I forgot what the what the the game is called but it's it's essentially similar to DD. &D. you descend into some sort of a dungeon and then every time you got get to a corner of what you of the road that you can see you unravel a new road um a new path a wall whatever and a monster appears and then you have to fight it uh and you have you have to kind of balance uh, that nobody dies if anybody dies it's kind of game over no glad to see you <clears throat> back i was so desperate yesterday that i watched mr g play wo ws d that mother trucker had some that mother trucker created some content about me while i was away so i heard thank you for 28 months and it's appreciated man uh, i hope it wasn't too bad <laughs> Uh, it was a it was a decent game. It was a decent game. Uh, we beat the first one, and then I challenged everybody to no. It wasn't descend. It was two words, something with G, I think. Um, and then I, I challenged everybody to to uh, artificially place all the worst conditions so we can see like how hard can the game get because the the first one was super easy and it was our first time. Um, and then we got our asses handed to us. Uh, but I gotta say, it was mostly due to the fact that we were getting super, super low rolls. All the goodies, all the good cards, all the stuff that I had in the first run, I never needed. And in my second run, I needed them all and I had nothing. Every time it was really crucial for me to hit a high roll on the die, I hit nothing. So we were really in, in, a, in, a, in a piece of shit situation until I finally managed to clean the the the, um, <clears throat> the the field but at that point it was kind of too late johnzer thank you for a gifted sub as well appreciate it yeah i'm not a fortnite streamer nor will i probably ever be okay follow god thank you for your prime welcome to the team get that shit out of your head that that's g doing crazy stuff uh Oops. romo boss i am sleeping now wait hold on a second i had flumba mom and now I have Romo Boss. Romo Boss is the dad, by the way. Uh, if the if the bus at the end doesn't give him away. Uh, wait, did you really just... Are you two logged in at the same time over two different things? Are my parents actually using multiple tech technology gadgets to do this? 
Hey, mister, welcome back. Hey, Gooly. <coughs> Daniels, thank you for seven months. Morgwin, thank you for the cheer. Happy New Year to you, too. Um, thank you, Korsika, to you, too. So, that's 1st of January, 2022. And we finish with that, and then on 2nd of January, we pack our shit, and then we have another couple of hour drive to reach Mrs. Adol's parents. And then they had some guests, and then her dad arrived from doing a, 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 some super long shift. Shire, thank you so much for 25. Roms, thank you for 10. Uh, you got Wow, you guys are crushing it. Uh, Midnight Slayer with two gifted subs as well. Thank you so much, my guys. Appreciate it. Um, and then we kind of just stayed there for a few days. And, and it turns out... Um, Mrs. Citadel's brother also played Tarkov. Um, I essentially had no touch even with a PC at this point, let alone Tarkov. And I'm like, all right, do you have the game? He's like, no, not at the moment, but we can download it. I'm like, yeah, sure. It was 13 gigs if you didn't have the game. And he has a pretty fucked up slow internet. So it took a bunch of hours. We, we just left it overnight. So eventually I managed to experience all the horrible queue times. And I feel so bad for people that had the 24-hour drops set for them over the past couple of days and, and couldn't play because you were in the queue, get into the game, move five things, crash, you're back into the 70,000 people queue and you're stuck there for, for, for hours. Um, and I was really hoping that by 7th, which is tomorrow when we have exclusive Twitch drops, um, I was hoping that you know, this is going to be resolved. And I got to say, watching from like yesterday and maybe the day before yesterday, it looks a lot better. Um, it, it looks a lot, uh, a lot better. And hopefully um, tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, because we're going to have like 48 hours of, of Twitch drops for Tarkov, which is insane. Uh, might be pulling a first 48 hour stream. You never know. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how my energy holds up. Um... So I was hoping it was going to get better, and I think it is uh, better at the moment. We'll see. And... Yeah, that, that's pretty much like the next couple of days I was just doing stuff around the house, chilling. Uh, we painted one of the rooms. We, like, transferred a bunch of stuff from one of the rooms into the other. Um, so well, I was in motion. I was doing some stuff, which is kind of nice. And in the meantime, um, I just logged in to Tarkov to do the hideout. I had like five things being built that I installed and finally started using them. I finally started producing moonshine and filtered water, used them to do some moonshine runs. I got some fucking crazy stuff to show you that I got out of those moonshine runs. It's amazing. Um, <clears throat> and played scavs. Literally just played scavs, maybe 15 runs over the course of a couple of days. Uh, I would just click play, be stuck in the queue, go back for an hour, come back, see where I'm in the queue. If I got if I got into the game, get in, play one raid, the game crashes, whatever. Um, so I made a couple of million rubles to manage to buy a couple of other things. So now we have the air filtering unit as well. Um, it's pretty much just solar panel, graphic cards, and level three. Um, Bitcoin farm, that's it. <clears throat> we got everything else. We are absolutely ready to play and get some and have some fun. Uh, but considering tomorrow and the day after tomorrow, it's going to be exclusively nothing but Tarkov because we're going to have a 48 hour half exclusive drops. So I decided today I'm going to play ships. Um, I don't know if we're going to play the ships all day. We might just play two hours and be like, all right, fuck this. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. No, no, thanks. But we, we might actually play for a little bit. We'll see. Uh, we'll play a little bit solo. We'll join Trendless and G. We'll see how that goes. Hold on, what's up? Um, and yeah, that's kind of how my vacation, if you want to call it, went. But the thing that I wanted to talk to you about in a little bit greater detail was how it ended. All of this was essentially seven, eight days that was like from the moment we were here till the moment we went up 
and came back. Now, the road trip return, the return road trip, the way back, the shit show of epic proportions that we had to underwent undergo last night. So, my plan <clears throat> was to return on the fifth, which was yesterday. My plan was to get up in the morning on the 5th and come here um I, I don't know somewhere around afternoon so that I'm essentially ready to stream even yesterday um no nah, no need Mary <coughs> My suggestion was we could leave on 4th evening and make that two, two and a half hour trip from the place where we are at the moment back to the friend's place, stay there overnight and then do the last four to five hour drive back home on the 5th in the morning so that I'm still back on time for stream and everything. Well, we, we haven't been to Mrs. Citadel's parents' place for, for two years now, and they wanted us to stay longer, so it was kind of prolonged, prolonged, prolonged. <laughs> Nord 2, thank you so much for five gifted subs, my dude. Appreciate it. And essentially, we decided, well, Mrs. kind of decided, um, that we're going to go on the fifth afternoon, evening. I'm like, all right, well, I don't want to get... <clears throat> I don't want to start... <laughs> too late because it's gonna be like a probably a six hour drive at least in the night um i don't want to start too late because i don't want to get home too late because i want to hit the bed way before five in the morning so that i can get up earlier um so i can maintain that rhythm because on the seventh the stream is going to be starting at like nine ten because we have Twitch drop starting at 11. It's not going to be the usual 2 p.m. Um, and then the stream is going to go for 24 hours. Um, I'm like, if I go to bed at 5 and I quickly come get back to that routine, it's going to be really a big fucking problem to, to get any sleep and then stream for 24 hours. So the plan was we go a little bit earlier. I'm like 8, 9 at the latest. But I would prefer if we, if we go around like 5, 6, 7. It was 7.30 when we, um, when we went, right? The weather was cold and there was only a few drops of rain. That's, that was the weather when we started. Very quickly, the small rain turned into rain, turned into a full-fledged rain turned into a absolute god is pissing on you with a bucket rain with god is pissing on you and throwing a couple of buckets of water in the same time on you with heavy wind and i don't know how many of you are drivers i'm not a driver misses is but when you're on a highway there's two lanes and there's a fucking truck in super heavy rain driving at 100, 120 kilometers per hour. The amount of water that that thing is tossing on its left and its right side is astonishing. It's absolutely blinding when you yeah, just overtake it. Well, that's the problem. When you try to overtake it, you are literally getting showered with water that you lose the like your uh, um what do you call it wipers they're going like this right they're, they're they're working like this and you have one to two seconds of complete no visual at all and you're driving like 140 50 60 30 20 it depends kilometers per hour and you're trying to overtake this fucking truck and you lose complete visual of the road it's the most frightening fucking thing ever 
And of course, there was a shit ton of these fucking trucks and vans along the way. Um, it, it was a very, 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 very uncomfortable, uh, horrifying experience. Especially when you start feeling that you're kind of drifting to the left. And he's on your right and you're like, oh shit, shit. Like, you wouldn't believe how long can a time between this... How, how much time can pass? And how much water can be dropped on your windshield that even with this, you just you can't get rid of it. It's a non-stop. It's like you're literally underneath uh, a waterfall. And that, that's how, that's kind of how it started. It was very, it was pretty frightening. Simply because every time you try to overtake uh, a car, it gets bad. When you try to overtake a van, it gets really bad. When you try to overtake uh, a, a truck, you're pissing your pants. Um, and then rain turned into snow. Now, let me tell you one thing. Snow is not particularly common in southern part of Croatia. Right? The coast doesn't see snow very often. And when we do, it's a shit show of epic proportions because we are in a warm climate. We don't get snow. The, the, mo the more inner part of Croatia gets snow only in certain parts. And the northern part of Croatia gets snow more frequently, but it's not like God knows what. what. We're not running winter tires. We did have chains in the trunk, but they were buried underneath all the luggage. And you can't exactly stop when there's snow with a car on the middle of a highway. Besides, it, it's probably not recommended, and we never used chains be, before either, and it's probably not recommended to put them unless there's a decent amount of snow. So when the snow starts falling and you're... you're um, the road starts getting painted white. That's kind of the most dangerous part. Um, because... That's the slippery fucking thing. And chains won't probably help you there. Um, and, like, there's not much to do. Cannot go more than 30 kilometers with chains. Yeah, trust me, we were going 30 kilometers. Well, not at first. At first, we were just dropping our speed slowly, 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 slowly. Eventually, we found ourselves uh, driving on snow, not on asphalt anymore, literally driving on snow, 25, 30 kilometers per hour, heavy snow everywhere around us, and no chains, no winter tires. It was fucking bad, okay? It was pretty fucking bad. Um... And even if there is somebody in front of you, and for the most part, there really wasn't. The amount of time it takes for snow to cover their tracks is... Seconds. Like, if there's a car driving in front of you, he's essentially paving the road for you, right? He's making the trails, and you can drive using their trails. But if that car is further than 50 meters ahead of you... The snow will cover everything and it's and you're essentially paving the road for someone behind you up to 50 meters um so that that's pretty fucking shit now i know that a bunch of you like you guys are from all over the world obviously your chat you're everywhere and some of you are absolutely used to low temperatures and snow we're not okay i'm not gonna say that it's like putting someone that, that that lives on sand for the most of his part i don't know somewhere in africa and and dropping him on snow it's not that bad but we're not used to snow uh i don't know 10 years ago we had a really really bad time in this city the city was pretty much in a full fucking lockdown for like a week because we were we were dipped in snow which was super unusual and ever since then they're far better prepared for it uh, because back then we had seven days of nothing like nothing was working nobody was driving it was a lockdown 
because we were just not prepared for snow like that's how much we expect snow here and then um ever since that happened they're they're definitely better prepared but still on an individual basis you don't deal you don't deal with shit like this right and then um apparently thunder in snowstorm is a highly unlikely and pretty dangerous thing that was a shit ton of thunder and lightning which is ex as like mrs googled very unlikely and rare thing to happen that was lightning and thunder in the middle of a fucking snowstorm and it was horrifying um the 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 drive that was supposed to take six hours took about nine uh molly was getting very restless uh we had a fist fight at one point it, it was just straight up fist fight like he wanted out I, I i my neck is hurting from yesterday like i spent more time like this taking care of him than anything else and then at some point he wanted out and then he and I put him back in and then he wants out and then uh, and at some point i thought he has to piss or something because we we pre prepared a little a litter at the bottom and i let him out and he didn't want to he didn't need to piss he just wanted to fuck around so i shove him back in and right as i'm pushing him in um he turns around and the motherfucker hisses at me and i'm like did you seriously just hiss at me because 30 seconds before that i let him out if he needs to take a piss and then i actually took him on the front seat and i was kind of cuddling him i was holding him keeping him company uh meanwhile missus is barely capable of driving not due to us obviously but i'm, I'm trying to calm him down because he just wouldn't shut up and then i literally turn around to put him in the in the in the thingy and as i sort of hurry him up push him a little bit fucker gets in there turns around and goes Pfft. i'm like did you seriously just hit at me Doof. and he's like fuck you and hits me back and i'm like doof, 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 doof. so we had like a fist fight for about 10 seconds <laughs> we were just hitting each other <laughs> and i'm like you little shit you absolute ungrateful little shit um and then i closed the doors on him and then he smacked the doors. I'm like, you must be entering teenage teenage years. Um, and Baba was great. Like she literally wasn't saying a thing. Molly was very restless. Now they were hungry. Like this was not supposed to be as long of a drive as it as it turned out to be. Not nearly long. So they got very hungry. Um. And then at some point, Baba started meowing. Now, when she meows, she needs something. She just she doesn't do that just out of the blue, right? She needs something. Now, at first, I couldn't figure out what she needs. I just like she seemed fine. Um, I'm like I don't know. So I open the gates and I, I see if she she wants to go in the litter. And then I lean a little bit more and I realize she puked. And her blanket that she was lying on the entire time is covered in puke of what she ate like, I don't know, seven, eight hours ago. I'm like, All right. So that's why she was meowing. So then I have to take her out, take the blanket, clean the blanket as much as you can by trying to reach some hankies that were like behind the back seat while being strapped in the front seat. Thank fuck I'm two meters long. Um, it was a very eventful, very, very eventful time. Um, so I managed to clean that up. I let her back in and, um, and then the meowing starts from the molly again. I'm like, all right, let's see if I can, I, I had like a, a tube of snacks that we give them, but you don't give them a lot of these snacks. It's not food. It's just a snack and, and they love this shit. So I give that a little bit to him and he, he fucking lunges at this. He was like super hungry. So I give a little bit to her and then I give a little bit more 
and a little bit more because they were really hungry and i'm asking mrs like how much of this shit can i actually give them uh, before they start getting sick of it I like, ah, don't give them too much but you know slowly give it to them un until he shuts up which didn't happen um so they both ate a little bit but she didn't eat everything and then the meowing starts again and this time she starts meowing for the second time and i'm like oh my god what the fuck now so i turn around i don't know did you ever see what happens when a cat is about to puke how they look like this is not your usual Blah. this is the most funniest shit ever it's like you feel so bad and and sorry and you want to laugh at the same time i'm not talking about the whole because they're kind of doing this their whole body is contracting as they're about to puke no that's not the part the part that i'm talking about is she's doing it like this <laughs> like what the fuck is that she literally sticks her whole tongue outside four years and, with and then she's hands. starting to do the thing and i'm like bro like i don't know should i should i laugh should i keep my calm i know what's about to happen but it's so funny and i feel so bad in the same time Ax, thank you so much for 48 months dude welcome to grandpa league or old oldies but goldies thank you so much man um so it was funny as fuck so uh, essentially i just opened the gates and, and let her do the thing and then she puked the the snacks that she ate i'm like all right well there's that now i have to cover that shit up somehow as well and then molly wouldn't shut up like molly was like so not in the mood to shut the fuck up so in the middle of all of that we had to deal with that crap and then hail started <laughs> That was that was fun as fuck. Um because the thing about hail is it covers the road pretty quickly and then you can't see shit. Like snow. So we had rain, heavy rain, heavy wind, heavy snowstorm, thunderstorm, thunder snowstorm, hailstorm, windstorm. We had all sorts of storms that you could possibly think about. And we arrived home at like 4 in the morning. We were supposed to be home at like 1, 1 1.30. Was there weather you didn't have? Yeah. Sun. Oh, and don't forget. This was between 7.30 p.m. and 4.30 a.m. This was pitch black. Now, I don't need to tell you that there's a very long parts of highway that I don't have a single fucking light on them pitch black super big storm you can't see shit in Croatia without the chains without the winter tires Mrs. Citadel is a monster she handled all that shit with a little bit of panic but I was there to, to, to kind of cheer her up and no mistakes, none. Like there was no problem. She, we just went through all this shit. I was just encouraging her to keep going. Just don't fucking stop. Just don't stop. Oh, I forgot one thing. Oh, I forgot a very important thing. You know, when the, when the, when it feels like the world is, is coming apart. Um, and then you realize that you're about half tank maybe less and you're gonna need far more than that to reach your destination and you can't stop and you're just going and then you see a gas station and then the gas station isn't working you're like oh shit okay uh and then you move on and then you reach the next gas station you stop there it's working you get in you take a piss oh that was a bad time i needed to take a piss but in the same time i kept telling her do not stop do not stop do not stop keep going um if we see an actual prop like proper pit stop where you can stop and not be covered in snow because once you stop you might not start again and that was a bmw that was uh very early on stuck in the middle of the fucking highway sideways like he was like this 
in the middle of the highway. He was just like this, and the guys were outside. Uh, I'm guessing rear torque, and he just lost control, and he couldn't start after that. And I'm like, do not stop. Just keep going. Um, and then we finally reached one of the gas stations, and I went to take a leak, and just as I was coming out, she's coming in. I'm like, did you, did you fill the tank? She's like, yep. I asked her for the number of the filling thingy. And then I come to the, to the cash register. And I don't know, did I buy something maybe? And then I tell the guy the number of the gas station. He's like, what? I'm like, number six. He's like, oh, oh. And he does the thing and he's like, yeah, you can put your credit card. And I put my credit card and then it asked me for the, for the code. And I type first number, second number, third number, last number. And the last number, uh, I didn't do this, but the last number gets typed in twice. So it's like beep, 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 beep. And then I click confirm without realizing that I just, well, I realized as I was clicking that I typed in five digits instead of four. What was the code? Yeah, zero, 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 zero. Um, very, very hard to guess. And just as I go type the, the, the fourth number, it gets dropped in twice and I click confirm. I'm like, oh, fuck, did it just get invalid code? Do it again. I'm like, okay. First, second, third, fourth, fourth. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, dude, you, like this digit is literally getting typed in twice. And then I realized there's a way to like delete one number. So I deleted the last number. I'm like, all right, works. So the dude, it, it gets confirmed. Everything works. He gives me the receipt and the power goes out. I shit you not. He gave me the receipt that I just paid and the power goes out in the middle of this shit show in a gas station. It's just complete no power, pitch black. I'm like, what the fuck is going on today, tonight, whatever. And then Mrs. comes out of the, out of the, the toilet. She's looking at me. I'm like, the power just went out, but I managed to pay. We can get the fuck out of here. And, um, and then we left. And then some people came in, they wanted to buy stuff, and the guy's telling them, like, I can't. I literally am not allowed to give you anything. We don't have power and shit like that. I think the power came back just as we were leaving, so that that's a good thing. Uh, Gunny, thank you so much for 36 months. Welcome to Doodoo's. Appreciate it. And... And then we continued on our, on our way, and then all that shit happened. And we were constantly seeing... How do you call those things that run in the... Um, on the road, they're like big trucks that actually clear the snow, right? They, they, they drive and they push it on the side like a bulldozer. How do you call that in English? Like we, we have plows, snow plows. Okay, well, that's simple. So we kept seeing snow plows running in the opposite direction of the highway multiple times. Not a single fucking time did we see one in front of us or behind us. I'm like shit. And, and for the most part, we found ourselves with no cars in front of us or behind us. Everybody was driving slower than us or, or equally as slow, so nobody was catching up. Occasionally, a crazy fucker would just show up and, and speed next to us, and we're like, what the fuck? Um, and we went through pretty much 90% of the path without the snowplows. And then just before we were about to enter one of the longest tunnels. I'm not going to I'm, I'm not going to lie when I say like 500 meters before we entered one of the longest tunnels, which was going to be dry and you're going to be able to s accelerate from 30 to like 80, 100, whatever, and pass that part. And there's a good chance there's no snow on the other side. Three fucking snow plows come right in front of us. And off they go, nice and slow. And I'm like, you have got to be fucking kidding me. For hours, we were driving at 30. Not one. Not one. And then these fuckers come out right in front of the tunnel. And I'm like, all right, fuck it. It is what it is. Um, 
Well, they, they were driving relatively fast. They were going like 50, 60, 70, 80. Eventually, they were driving pretty fast as well. Um, and then they obviously slowed down at the other side of the tunnel. There was snow on the other side of the tunnel as well. Not for a very long portion of the time. Uh, but certain parts, so we were like, all right, at least it's not that bad. At least we have, yeah, kilometers per hour. Um, at least, you know, they're, they're clearing that shit for us now. And then they moved and then we continued and then there was more snow and then there was rain and then there was hail and then there was snow again and then there was thunder and then there was rain and then there was just regular rain at some point um and it was just it was an absolute shit show what should have been a six hour easy ride turned into uh, a nine nine and a half hour drive of pure absolute pure torture that was risky and, and challenging as fuck but it all kind of went good at the end i just watched flamu launching 104 torps into benham and only getting one torp hit beat that flambino i think like half the chat can beat that you don't need me to beat that <laughs> happy new year jingles and, and uh happy holidays as well and merry christmas and happy hanukkah and all that shit i heard you're getting a new uh uh house apartment something i wasn't sure i think i saw it on the twitter these days congrats on that by the way um so yeah essentially we finally got home super tired super exhausted just dropped everything hit the bed and here we are it was a not particularly eventful new year celebration but a very fucking eventful coming back happy new year mr flambino welcome back thank you nutty appreciate the 39 months and it's good to be back my dude it's really really good to be back um well i hope you enjoyed that story time i i definitely wanted to share 